Hello, I am Jody Wolf, and you're watching Expose on July 1, 2012, 1.15 a.m. Birmingham, Alabama. Topic, do you know what bill your congressman and your senator signed into law a few months ago? Remember, there was a lot of talk about it, but it came up so quick there was no discussion they were signed sealed and delivered and although um, our senator sessions and shelby i sent letters urging them please do not sign these they did anyway we have been thrown out with a tub water or wash water or whatever you want to call it but in any case I want to tell you what these bills mean to you. These are executive orders. And have you, by any chance, just kind of ask around or look around, have you seen many military helicopters or drones, and I'm speaking of sure enough drones, and tanks, and I mean army tanks, on the move throughout the United States. St. Louis, Missouri. They were all over that city. Helicopters and tanks and drones. Birmingham, Alabama, the same. In any case, let me tell you a little bit about some of these executive orders. By reading these executive orders, there are over 900 that he put forth in three and a half years, but they all signed them in with one swipe of the pen and the vote from your congressman and your senator. It's obvious he is planning for the total control and takeover of America via martial law. Food, energy, transportation, work, banking, and health. He has it covered. Now here's a list of the emergency power martial law executive orders. I am not going to read out each independent executive order number. Well, you know what? I will. It's not going to be much. But I'm going to just start off. The first executive order number, 10990, allows the government to take over all modes of transportation and control of highways and seaports. 10995 allows the government to seize and control the communications media. 10997 allows the government to take over all electrical power, gas, petroleum, fuels, and minerals. Executive 11,000 allows the government to mobilize civilians into work brigades under government supervision. Number 11001 allows the government to take over all health, education, and welfare functions. Order number 11002 designates the Postmaster General to operate a national registration of all persons a national registration of all persons. That, my friend, got your boat right there. That, my friend, just took away your freedom. Um, wow. Executive number 11003, the government to take over all airports and aircraft, including commercial aircraft. 11004, allows the Housing and Finance Authority to relocate, relocate and establish 
new locations for populations that take you out of your home and put you in a home where they can watch you, meaning a small cubbyhole. Executive Order 11005 allows the government to take over railroads, inland waterways, and public storage facilities. Numbers 11049 assigns emergency preparedness function to federal department and agencies, consolidating 21 operative executive order issues over a 19 year period, uh, no, I'm sorry, 15 year period. Order number 11051 specifies the responsibility of the Office of Emergency Planning and gives authorization to put all executive orders into effect in times of increased international tensions and or economic and financial crisis. Don't you know that this will do just that? All this will put it under this economic crisis and the tensions. Number 11310 grants, uh, 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 grants authority to the Department of Justice to enforce the plan set out in executive orders to institute industrial support to establish judicial and legislative liaison to control all aliens, to operate penal and uh, correctional institutes, and to advise and assist the president. This, my friend, will put you in jail if you don't walk a straight line, number 11921 allows a federal emergency preparedness agency to develop plans to establish control over the mechanisms of production and dis distribution of, emerg of energy sources, wages, salaries, credit, and the flow of money in the United States financial institution in any underfined national emergency. It takes, I'm sorry, it also provides that when the president declares a state of emergency, Congress cannot review this action for six months. What else can I tell you here? What else would you want to know about this? I can tell you this. I can tell you when this, if this president is behind in the election in September, you better look for martial law. It will be suspended. Elections will be suspended because he will be behind. He will not be elected. And the last thing I have to say about this, you go back three blogs on me and remember what gun I told you would be the best gun to have. I can't see anything good coming out of this. And I cannot see that America is going to lay down and be kicked into a socialist era. I'm not. Jody Wolf, Exposed.